Welcome to the seventh class on spiritual warfare. I hope that this week the readings that you're going to do will be meaningful and useful in terms of your ministry, but also in terms of understanding some of the hermeneutical issues that are involved in an issue so actual and so badly understood as it is a spiritual warfare. Uh, what we are going to do is first uh, see some of the Pauline perspective on spiritual warfare and this Pauline perspective comes from Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 to 3. It's one of the most comprehensive and succinct perspectives on spiritual warfare, on the condition of humanity under the reality of death. So as you see in this uh, PowerPoint, for Paul there are three major realities that uh, describe the state of death in which humanity is found. The first one has to do with the world, as he talks in Ephesians 2, is the current of the present world that uh, in many ways enslaves and controls human life. He also speaks of the evil, of the forces of evil, of the spiritual realities and, and powers that control human existence. So we have the structural reality represented by the word, uh, the world, which in my understanding has to do with human society, then the evil forces, spiritual dimensions that control human life, and finally he describes the sinful human nature as one of the realities that also controls our life. So world, devil, and, and flesh, a sinful human nature, are the realities that uh, control human life. And that is Paul's description of a spiritual warfare in Ephesians. In contrast to that reality, Paul is going to offer a solution, a way to overcome that slavery based on the death of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. So he puts, in contrast to the hu sinful human nature, a new nature, what we call the new uh, creature that has been created by the grace of God opposed to the structural realities of evil in this world that enslave human life, he speaks of the new humanity, the church, as a reality, as a new structural reality that becomes an alternative, a better environment to overcome the forces of uh, structural evil in this world. And finally, in contrast to the evil forces, to principalities and powers, in this world, we have the powerful and empowering presence of the Holy Spirit. So that's like a brief introduction in the class notes that I will, uh, that you will have access in the resources for the class. You will have a broader explanation of this uh, reality. Now. One of the readings that you are going to do this week have to do with the, with the document of, on a spiritual conflict in today's mission. This is a report from the consultation on deliverance from evil that was held in the year 2000 in Nairobi, Kenya, and that brought together leaders, pastors, scholars from all over the world that got together in that consultation to think about the spiritual warfare. So aside from the biblical perspective that you will find in my class notes, you will see also this very, very interesting document that brings the perspectives of very different peoples in the, in the world, from Christians from all over the world that face the realities of a spiritual warfare. So this is a fresh document that in contrast to others that just come from the North Atlantic countries. Uh, this is a document that represents really global Christianity. And you can read and hear in that document some voices that will help us to understand better 
the spiritual warfare. So I will add some questions that we will uh, discuss during this week, and I hope that both the reading from the biblical perspective and also from this uh, quite interesting document, Deliver Us from Evil, will bring you a better understanding of this reality of a spiritual warfare. So blessings, and uh, I'll see you in our discussion this week.